If you're a cat person like I am, you probably have a basket full of cat toys at home. In this video, I'm gonna talk about four of the most popular cat toys and give you some tips for how to make the most out of playtime with your cat or kitten. thing that might come to mind when you think about cat toys is a laser pointer. The benefit of a laser pointer is that it's an easy way to mimic the movement of a tiny bug running quickly across the floor or up the side of the wall. So it can really get cats and kittens up and running around, which is great for a cat who needs exercise or for a kitten who needs to get out a lot of energy. I always start by putting the laser close to wherever the cat or kitten is currently looking so that they notice the movement in their peripheral vision. Once they spot the motion, you can start to move the light further away from them and encourage them to chase after it. If you're using a laser pointer, make sure you're avoiding shining it in their eyes and choose one that's less than five milliwatts and is labeled as safe for animals. You also wanna choose a high quality battery. My friends at Energizer sent me some batteries and they are great quality. The Energizer Ultimate Lithium is the number one longest lasting AA battery on the market. So when I use it in my laser pointer, it keeps going and going, just like my foster kittens. So a laser pointer can be a great way to warm up a cat or kitten for playtime. But if you're gonna be using a laser pointer, I recommend wrapping up your playtime with a toy that's a little bit more tangible. You wanna make sure that every single play session involves a toy that they can actually catch. Keep in mind that playing is really all about hunting. And hunting isn't just about stalking and chasing after the prey. It's also about catching it and chomping down and bunny kicking it. And that is where kicker toys come in. The kicker toy kind of has an opposite role to the laser pointer because the laser pointer is all about the chase and the kicker toy is all about the chomp. I really like using kicker toys for kittens who are a bit bitey because it teaches them to take their biting behaviors out on a plush object. I always keep one nearby for redirection. So if a kitten is biting me, I give them a kicker toy to bite instead. And for adult cats, I love getting catnip kickers that give them that extra little bit of excitement and incentive for playtime. The next popular toy I wanna to talk about is the crinkle ball. These things are affordable, lightweight, and they make a really enticing sound that encourages them to hunt. Listening for these kinds of sounds is a big part of the hunting process. So when they hear that little crinkle sound, they can't resist. You don't wanna just leave crinkle toys lying around on the floor. You wanna actively play with them. You can crinkle it in your hands, move it around, and then toss it for them over and over. These are fun to catch and they're light enough that they can actually usually play a little bit of soccer with them on their own. But they're not necessarily as fun for them to chew on. So I would keep around your kicker toy or another plush toy if they want something to munch. Be careful about any cat who is shredding the material and avoid any ingestion. Also be careful about these ending up in water dishes because they usually have pretty strong dye on them that can come off in the water. I really love crinkle balls and I always keep a couple on hand for a quick game of toss. <laughs> the last popular cat toy I'm gonna talk about today is the wand toy. These are extremely popular with almost every cat and kitten. But be sure to start slow and determine what speed of play is fun for your cat or kitten. Sometimes it might be really intimidating to them, but other times they might love when you zip it around wildly. Some might prefer when you wiggle it across the ground to mimic the movement of a little rodent, while others might prefer when it flies through the air like a bird. Figure out what works best for your cats or kittens, and then try to make it a bit of a challenge. You want them to have to work for it, but then get the reward of the catch. The most important thing to keep in mind is that wand toys need to be put away somewhere out of reach when you're not using them. And cats should only have access to them with supervision. That ensures that no one gets tangled up or hurt and it will keep it as a very special thing you only do together. Now you've probably noticed that all of my advice involves interactive play. And that's because it's so much more fun for your cat when you are playing together. Cats are natural predators and they want objects to move. 
Playing with a toy that doesn't move is like hunting prey that's already dead. So no matter which of these toys you're using with your cat, make sure you're taking time every single day to do some form of interactive play. All four of these toys have really different benefits, so it's good to keep a variety on hand and know which is best for which purpose. Laser pointers are great for exercise and chasing. Kickers are great for chomping and clawing. Crinkle balls for that auditory stimulation and pouncing. And wand toys for leaping through the air and catching. Which toy does your cat like most? Tell me about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.